Hey everyone, I'm Ron Coherence. We're back with the finale of Dark Matter, Starfall. This is a fantastic scenario, let's get into it. But before we do, let's talk about our last duck upgrades. These decks are completely, utterly finished. There is nothing left to add to them other than maybe an Observed and Sister Mary. In the Sister Mary deck, you can see, like, we have 45 Thompsons as backup weapons. We could obviously replace those with, like, you know, Cyclopean Hammer or something. But there is backup weapons. You don't really want to invest experience in that anyway, and we already have backup weapons as well. So this deck just doesn't really have cuttable cards. Everything that's here is here for an explicit purpose and needs to be here. The worst card is really 45 Thompson by a substantial amount, but it does something that needs to be done, and it will at least thin itself out of the deck as I hit them with backpacks. Coming over to Mateo, because I kept giving him that air to Carcoats experience over the last four scenarios, I had just enough experience to get an Observed. We also got our last Clairvoyance, and we upgraded our other Tempt Fate into a Seal of the Elder Sign, like you do. And uh, yeah, these decks have 64 and 72 experience. That'll, that'll be down the rabbit hole when high experience costs some campaigns. That's what that does. Before we do anything else, let's figure out what our Observed is going to be doing today. We have... During the first... I don't care about foot test, no thank you. Two additional opening cards is good. Uh, seeing as we only have three Doom, I'll be taking this one and getting two additional cards in this opening hand. So let's just do the Mulligans now. Probably should shuffle the deck based on how that looks. Probably should shuffle the deck. <laughs> That'll be my seven card opening hand. And at this point, the hand's so good that I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. I always like having a Ride of Seeking during setup. Jacob Morrison's the best ally. You don't really need early favor of the sun, but you're never complaining if you have it. I definitely don't want these two clairvoyances or all of we'll find more clue finding eventually. We don't need all of early. I don't have the economy for all this. Like if I'm holding Ride of Seeking Scroll of Secrets, I already can't afford my opening hand, so I just hard mull for economy then. And we draw a five now. And we do in fact hit the economy I was looking for. Nice. Over here on Mary, I should probably take out the cards for Stick to the Plan. Should be prepared for the worst. Emergency Cash. Ever Vigilance. And then doing the actual mulligan we're going to see. I love you, Beat Cop. Honestly, I might still keep the Beat Cop. I was going to say, like, you're not a Backpack or a Runic Axe. But it's also one of the best cards in the deck. It's also not the Tarot, though. There's too many other cards that are more important. I got a Hard Mole. Gotten the Beat Cop back anyway. Cool. Very happy with this. I've got a beat cop. I've got a backpack. The 45 Thompson is trash, but deny is really important to have eventually. We put our two starting blesses in. I've done all the starting setup because we did all the allies, all the good endings. These like part one quests that would be in the scanning deck are skipped and the objective is starting in the scanning deck. We have a bunch of stuff set aside. We start with three doom for our three impending doom, which I think is the lowest I've ever started it with. I might've been at two or three my first playthrough, but I was playing Tony and Mandy. So like being comparable to them is pretty sick. Anyway, we have a 12 Doom first agenda, and we can, during a skill test, cross out one ta- uh, I knew there was something you could use memories for, but honestly, uh, you know, no, I disagree. This is definitely better for um, keeping the memories yourself, and it really makes me want to play a Daryl just to destroy this scenario. Just like, oh no, I'm not spending memories, I don't, I don't care about Doom. I'm turning the difficulty of every test to zero and nobody can stop me. But I honestly think like it's of comparable value to getting the Doom, which is where it should be. It's like very, very well balanced. If these were unexpected courages, I would think I made a mistake, but they aren't. And then we have a scan. No additional rules. You just scan for the topmost card. We're going back to basic scanning, and it's nice to see in the final campaign, or the final scenario of the campaign, rather. And our objective is just do as much as you can and then resign, whatever that means. I'm going to move this down to where the ship is. We're starting aboard the Tattered Emollion. Of course we are. It's a two shroud, zero glue location. It's connected to the attached location and vice versa. Moving to or from it does not cost an action. It's a lightning bolt. What does that mean? Well, as an action, you can attach the Tattered Demolion to any location. So you can just warp around the galaxy using the ship, get off and on instantly. So it's basically one move action to get from anywhere with the ship to anywhere else, but you'll all want to be on the ship when that happens. One of my favorite scenarios I ever played when my team first played Dark Matter, for a variety of different reasons in this scenario, I picked a Luke. Teleporting across the galaxy with Dreamgate while everyone else stayed on the ship was really cool. And for other reasons, Luke has some incredible uses of his ability here in this scenario that no one else gets. We'll talk about it later. So I think that's it. We need to go to Pluto, question mark, Asteroid Belt, or Mars. Uh, those will be the three factions we've interacted with previously. But before we do anything, let's go ahead and get off the ground with emergency cash over here. See if we can't just like trip our way into something more valuable. Unfortunately not. I think it's better to play a backpack and draw a card, and then, in which case I should draw first. Uh, the reason it's better to draw first, even though I'm playing backpack, which searches your deck, it's just a question. Is it more likely to hit an item or not? 
The answer is no, there's way more non-item cards in my deck, therefore it's more likely to improve my odds if I draw first. Anyway, last action, one resource, search the top 12, which is literally exactly half my deck. Oh, wait, nope, it was almost a full whiff. I was gonna say this is the first time a backpack's completely failed, but it just found the other backpack, so I'll call it a wash. Now, coming over here to Mateo, what are we doing? We should definitely be moving the ship somewhere and like actually playing the game, but that's for nerds, we're not doing that. We play Scroll of Secrets, we throw away one of these, we immediately get a new card. We've used our Observed, we know what it is. Yeah, I'll take Seal the other side, it's a pretty good card. I'm gonna play this Emergency Cash level two. Get three resources, not two, draw a card. Jacob is back. And because we're going into Mythos phase and I'll have enough money next turn, I'm just going to go ahead and play Jacob first. That'll be it for us. Bless goes into the bag and upkeep phase. I'm gonna try my best to remember it. So the last scenario of the campaign, if we don't remember it this time, we've never remembered it once all campaign. Four of whatever, Doom. Space Pirates. I don't know if I shuffled this. Is that shuffled? I, I think this is shuffled. I'm gonna shuffle it anyway, just in case. We got Space Pirates. They're at the nearest starship, which would, you know, be us. Spend resources equal to their remaining health, so four to discard them as a parlay. I think instead we'll be doing the find a weapon with backpack and kill them plan. But what is, what's happening over here? Oh, it's this card. I like this card. Do I have a guts? Do I have a guts? I've got a guts. I'm going to test this at four, seven to three. Minus two. That'll be five to three. That's exactly a pass by two. One, two. I hit runic axe. The backpack is worthless now. These guys only hit for one. They look so badass. What chumps. It does sort of fit the character though, right? Like they're trying to rough you up so you'll give them money. They don't actually want to kill you. Anyways, uh, first action right in front of them. I just get hit by them. I play Ever Vigilance. I'm going to play this backpack from my backpack because right now there's not actually anything else worth doing. Going to search the top 12 again. Get second Runic Axe, Hallowed Mirror, 45 Thompson, just thinning out the deck. And does Runic Axe commit for anything useful? Not really. So I'd rather not have it in my hand. I'm, the backpack was free. I play Runic Axe for three, and I play Beat Cop for three. A weird police force we've got going on here. It's a, it's a very God of War looking police force. Anyways, now that this is out, I've got three, four, five to their three. If I go ahead and just spend three charges real quick, we can quickly boost that five up to an 11 for four damage. Get out of here, you idiots. And I feel very safe now. <laughs> like our fighters online, I'm going to attach the ship somewhere. There's something about giant enemy crabs over on Mars, so I'm gonna fly it over here instead, and I'll lightning bolt off the ship, because I know Mateo's coming this way too. After you reveal Yuggoth, spawn the set aside Migo Sentinel at this location. I believe he's, oh, he's somewhere else. Here's the Migo Sentinel. Aloof Hunter 443. After you reveal a symbol at his location, move one of your clues on Amigo Sentinel. When you defeat him, take control of all of its clues. Well, since I don't have any clues, that doesn't actually do anything. And that was Ever Vigilant Attack and move the ship. I'll Lightning Bolt off the ship over here as well. I will check out what's on the bottom of my deck with this Scroll of Secrets. And it turns out that we get a Guts level two, I'll take it. Oh, also, during your turn, if you're at a Pluto location or a Starship location attached to a Pluto location, reveal and resolve an additional Chaos Token during skill test you perform. Man, Yuggis sucks, doesn't it? We don't need victory. This guy has Hunter, so he will follow us around, which is a little bit annoying, but I don't know if it's really a problem. We have a scanning deck. Do you scan your location? Yes. It's not a location attached to the ship, but you can Lightning Bolt in and out, so it's not really any different. I'm gonna give myself the free action and a resource to scan. We're looking for a moon. There's a lot of icons in the scanning deck. There we go, it's only available from here. We've got... Well, first we're gonna need to pick up a connection icon. Do you move to it? That's an important question. You do not move to it, you just draw it. And they don't feel like generating clues, so we'll do it ourselves. Threshold of Yaga, three shroud, four clues, put into play. When you scan at this location, reveal a random chaos token for each clue here. If we reveal a symbol, cancel and take a horror. So we need to get the clues to do that one. Move, right of seeking, right of seeking, right? Easy. I've got our resource left to do it with even. I could do seal the elder sign, get some greed going on. It's the wrong kind of greed though, right? You just commit guts. We're at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to three. Yeah, just cycle with guts, it's better. It's actually five to three. Nope, it's only three, we still draw two. Cool. And I'll take three of the four clues immediately. 
that's it for us. I'm gonna leave the Migo where he is with um, Mary. I actually don't get a choice. Uh, this is the closest location. He wouldn't move even if I wanted him to. Five of 12 Doom and evil cards. We have Anachronism. It's been ages since we saw this. Test three head for each one you fail by. Either discard an answer asset or take one horror. I can deny it, but I really don't want to. I'm up one base. Don't have my guts because I gave it to Mateo like an idiot. I should add a Bless because I'm playing Sister Mary. And I'm going to go ahead and add a Curse 2 and Promise Power this to be up 5. Eh. Lo revealed locations without clues. That's like 1. <laughs> Not even a problem. Get rid of a Bless. Kill it. Didn't even need the Promise of Power. Future Evils goes into play next to the Agenda deck. Whenever the next time a card would gain Doom is, Scenario Card basically says the entire encounter deck, all the locations, anything. Then you get an additional Doom and discard Future Evils. And the important part is it can advance the agenda. It will go on the same thing, it won't necessarily go on the agenda, but if it does trigger, if it goes over Doom Threshold, it does Ancient Evils. It looks like I'm overhand sized down here, doesn't it? We need to discard one. Have I ever been happy about using Codex of Ages a single time? Can't say I have been. It just, God, this card is just a week. I'm gonna make a video going through the investigators and their signatures and talking about which C people I think would have clearly been printed differently today. Because Codex of Ages stands out as one of those cards. Rita Young does as well. Random tangent, just real random tangent real quick. If you look at Kaimani and their ability that's not limited to once per round, Daniello's ability is just better than this. Not even limited to once per phase. Rita Young's limited to once per round and her signature lets it do it multiple times. It's like, nah, if you printed this today, that limit once per round just isn't there. I'm honestly surprised they haven't done a taboo to just remove this for quality of life reasons. All this is is pointless or restrictive. And I say this as someone who's currently playing alongside Rita in the Wonderland campaign. So like, I just don't get why that text is there. It just doesn't need to be, man. Anyway, tangent done. Let's get back to the game. Where are we? We just did Mythos cards. See, I don't need a victory anymore, and I'm not going to deal with this guy. I'm just going to walk away from him, but I don't have divination. I can use flavor this on to not get the last clue. Oh, I do have divination. Oh, well, I guess it's not even important then. I'm going to play divination. I'm broke. I play all of McBride, and I play voice of Ra, and I use Olive on the first one. One, two, three. We don't resolve the four. It just cares about symbols, right? Yeah. One, two. Holy shit. I'm rich. I'm so wealthy. I guess that's an economy then. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to play Divination last action. Just doesn't feel right to use Rider Seeking on this. It also doesn't feel right to not use your charges on Rider Seeking. That's called cheating. What's in this backpack again? Garbage? Garbage. I'm going to draw some cards. Oh, hey, Guard Dog lets me be like more efficient when dealing with the loop enemies. Not that it matters right now. I'm going to gain a resource and play Beat Cop with all of my money. I don't want to walk over because then Migo Sentinel walks over and he makes it possible for me to drop my clues over here, which is just like a little bit annoying. It's not a big deal. Oh, hey, little guy. What are you up to? Ride of Seeking. Nice. Six of 12 Doom. Evil cards. The stars were right. Attach this card to the location with the most clues without a copy of stars or right. That'll be right where I'm sitting. After you fail a skill test by three or more at the attached location, place... <laughs> Look, buddy, we weren't doing skill test at this location. That was the whole point of this location. Anyway, over here, we're going to get Micrometeoroid. Take two damage or discard each event in your hand. I'm testing three to three base. I've got Mateo. I can pass if I... Oh, I don't have Ancient Covenant. Makes it a bit harder to pass if I want to. I can steal the Elder Sign if I want to. Two damage isn't really scary to me at all, is it? Yeah, I just take the test, and if I can pass with uh, Jacob, I will. I can't pass with Jacob, unfortunately. I'm going to take one horror onto Olive. I'm going to take one damage. I guess if I have one damage on Jacob, I should put the horror on him, too. And then I'm going to put the second horror, or the second damage, rather, on myself. Yeah, that's just, like, not a problem. Even with a squid, like, worst-case scenario, it wasn't a problem. Over here, I'm going to be divinationing for one clue. That'll get spent when I succeed. We're at four, five, six to three. That's not up as much as I like, but we got Jacob. We don't even need him. We're going to take that clue. Three actions, scan, draw a card with it. We're looking for triple pips. Let's move this up here as this is the direction we're going. Here's triple pips. And this is... Oh, hey, it's repairing the threshold. This goes next to the act deck. 
This is one of our three quest objectives. I'm not quite sure exactly how this works. It's been a while. Help the Migo travel back to their homeworld by returning the lost Yethian artifact. If an investigator at Threshold of Yugath controls Stasis Key, remove it from the game, spend four clues as a group to add this card to the victory display. Cool. Uh, so we need to go around and get all these quests and all the things these quests won't. That's fine. I think I might be scanning again, unless I have valuable setup to do. Favor of the Sun it definitely qualifies as a valuable setup. One, two, three. And I think last action is just scan again, which is fine. I'm looking for triple pips again. There's triple pips. This actually can show up in a lot of places. Is that all of Yagoth? I think it's all of Yagoth. The Universal Archives. It goes into play under the control of an investigator, so it's got to be Mateo. Throw it over here. This must be somebody else's objective, if I remember correctly. Action. The top card of the scanning deck contains an icon matching any revealed location. Exhaust scanning archives, or sorry, Universal Archives, and scan as if you were at that location. Shuffle the scanning deck. Cool. Really like that. Um, a thing I remember very vividly is giving these away before you finish if you're trying to beat the final boss is a trap and not to do it. Now, over here on Sister Mary, I think I can scan here and find another location. If I remember correctly, every single one of these places forms a triangle initially. So I'm going to scan looking for the moon again. It turns out my memory is incorrect. It definitely does not form a triangle. <laughs> I get into the ship. I pilot the ship here and I get out of the ship. Getting in and out of the ship is just an action. Oh, I have a guile on me. What's the penalty for failure here? I'm not going to fail. It's going to be fine. I'm going to use two charges just to beat the bag comically. He's dead. See? Easy peasy. And then we move the ship and then we scan. I'm just doing this to add the ship closer to Mateo. It's the same as walking, but, you know, it brings the ship with us, so it's objectively way, way better. Last action is scan. This time we're looking for triple pips again. Joke's on me. This one only has two locations. Well, in that case, there's no point to scanning here. No point to scanning anywhere. I'm gonna gain a resource and be sad about my life. Upkeep, Hunter Phase, he does come over. He's gonna make it scarier if we pull symbols now, but we so far haven't really cared. Wait a second. Oh, I dropped clues. Yeah, that's why I didn't care on Mary. Yeah, she doesn't really do that. Seven of 12 Doom, Solar Eclipse next to the agenda deck. When you initiate an investigation, take one horror or get plus two shroud at the end of the round, discard it. Githian Observer is going to be with us, engage with the tail because there's nothing saying otherwise. When it attacks you, discard a random card from your hand. If you cannot, it deals plus one damage and plus one horror for this attack. Okay, uh, I'm going to use the lightning bolt to get both of us on the ship. It's Mary's turn, by the way, and Mary's going to pot at the ship away to the asteroid belt. That'll be her first action. The asteroid belt has a singular clue. Not quite. Oh, hey, that time it's wound with the clue. At the end of your turn, heal one damage. Nice. Action resign. I don't really want to try to live life amongst stars. I want to save the universe. And I think now it's time to kill this man. And Mateo's here, so I'm not actually afraid of failing. I triple invest. It's auto fail or bust. And if it is auto fail, it's not actually bust. That's not quite auto fail at all. Welcome to the victory display, idiot. Last action, I'm going to play this tarot. And I'll lightning bolt on to the asteroid belt because I may as well. Mateo will lightning bolt off with me again. And a quick reminder, you can do that as many times as you want in a round. And if I recall correctly, there's a little bit of cheese with the crab that may or may not be intentional. We'll figure out once we get there. It's a moving the tattered emollient that's limited to once per investigator per round. Uh, we're going to tap scroll a secret, see what's going on at the bottom of my deck. Can we discard snakes? Never. Not even once. And now this scroll of secrets is just crypt chill fodder. I'm going to give myself the free action, the resource on Mateo. I'm going to scan looking for hearts. There's our objective. We've got a Mount Sinai. So we have four shroud, two clues. When you would scan at Mount Sinai, test foot one plus two difficulty for each clue in your location. If you fail, cancel that scan. That's fine. Not a big deal at all. I'm going to play. Did I do my blessed tokens last time? Doom on agenda. Added a blessed token. Good. Favor of the Sun's not quite online yet, so I don't really want to use Favor of the Sun. I lightning bolt back onto the ship. I move the ship to the next location. I lightning bolt off of the ship because that's just better than moving. <laughs> Investigating puts me at base four to four. No, six to four, because these do have benefits. Why on earth does Rite of Seeking commit for books? Holy shit. I would never commit Rite of Seeking to anything in the first place, but that is so weird. Okay, anyways, where was I? I was trying to investigate this place. I was up to, I've got Jake. 
It's a little bit sketchy, but it's not that sketchy. I ride a seeking. That is exact pass, no penalty. Take both clues. I guess I just scan? Seems like the thing to do. And in the scanning deck, we're looking for green diamonds. There we go. This also attaches at heart. So I think this one is going to be the triangle that I was talking about just now. It's not. It's not at all. He can spawn at any asteroid belt. He's an exoroid. Hunter, retaliate. After you defeat exoroid, shuffle it back into the scanning deck. I remember you, you piece of shit. Oh man, bury them deep would feel so good against this guy. <laughs> anyway, he's hitting for 1-1 one, one this round. I believe the plan is simply to not kill him, to evade him, and leave him here and leave him pissed off. So, sorry about that, Mateo. Uh, Mateo gets hit for 1-1. One, one. Horror goes on Olive. No reason not to. Upkeep phase. Stand together is nice. Finally showed its face. See all the other signs way better. It's one of the best cards we have in the game right now. Don't see myself needing all of this horror soap, gonna be honest. 8 of 12 Doom and Evil cards. We've got Grim Future. Been a while since I saw this one too. It can go to any one threat area. They're gonna be taking 1-1 one, one repeatedly as the act and agendas advance. They have to test foot to get rid of it. Gonna be honest, it seems like a great target for Ward. I don't think I added this bless. We should be at 3. We are. I play Ward of Radiance. If I get to the last one, I will use Olive. I use Olive. If I get to the last one again, I will use Favor of the Sun. Oh wait, I thought they're the same timing window, aren't they? Well, no, they are the same timing window, but I can use, I'm still revealing Chaos Tokens from Olive, so I can choose to reveal the Favor of the Sun for the last one. So we got two more chances. Ah, it finally happened. Release the token. And we'll have to use that to make Ward of Radiance work. No alternative this time. But hey, it still cancels this, which would deal a lot of damage over the course of this scenario, so I'm glad to be rid of it. Cool, and that was your encounter card, so we still have a one left for Mateo. You gotta stop drawing these Yithian Observers, man. I'm gonna go first on Sister Mary. I'm gonna walk into this location that Mateo's on. I am gonna play Stand Together. <laughs> I get this, I take all the horror, and I deny it. There's only like three in there. I still deny its existence. I've got a second deny. Why not? Uh, we're going to get two cards over here and draw two as well. And then I'm going to swing over for four. Like there's no chance of failure because spoilers, we haven't used this yet. There is actually no chance for failure. Yeah, that's not a fail. Welcome to the victory display, idiots. God, it's satisfying. This is actually better than flamethrower. Do you know why? Flamethrower can't shoot over. You have to engage to shoot with flamethrower. And holy shit, you shouldn't be swinging at four with the ability to shoot over. It's just so strong. It's so strong. I like I know the problems this axe has. I'm so aware of them. And in larger player counts, it gets a lot worse. But in larger player counts, your teammates shouldn't be expecting the main fighter to fight for four people or even three people. They should expect them to be doing the bulk of the work. And let me tell you, killing four health victory enemies with four fists is the bulk of the work. Anyway, over here, we need to evade this guy. Um, Mary, lightning bolt on the ship. We're going to evade this guy. We can't just tell him it happens anymore. So I use seal the outer side and I tell him it happens. <laughs> Joke's on you, idiot. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I don't know that I need my action back. I definitely don't seem to need cards and resources. So I'll get the action back and just evade him. I get myself the free action from Kate's. I'm scanning for green diamond. We're already there. This is one of our objectives. Wait, is this next to the act? No, it's a thing we get. It's got to be me because I've already moved Sister Mary away. I can spend money to cancel damage and horror now. That's pretty sick. Going to forget about that very immediately, I promise. And we're going to go ahead. I used Kate on myself, so I should get a resource out of it. I'm going to keep scanning. I need to figure out what else is going on here. Mount Sinai's green diamonds. We got one more. Is there anything after this or can we leave? This is the last one. It is the objective. Project Origami Revelation go up to the act deck. Help the UCC escape by providing the formula to fold space time. If an investigator at Mount Sinai controls Universal Archives, I'm not going to be doing that. I can, but I'm not going to. I need this for myself. I lightning bolt onto the ship. We evaded. We got it back. We scanned for free. We scanned for real. This is the correct number. I am going to take us to Mars as an action. And I play Holy Rosary because I don't like overdrawing. That's it for us. Under hand size, just barely. Under hand size, no problems. 9 of 12 doom. I feel like we're making a good pace. I don't remember how much the other agendas are bad. This spawns at a colony location. Mars is not a colony location. All right, what are you going to do? Do I care? I guess I have to care. 
Would this have been a colony if I flipped it? That's so sad. That's so sad. <laughs> Does this one even have anything bad on it? I should have just, I should have just flipped it. Oh, well. He's over here now. We'll get him eventually. This guy readies. Uh, I guess it's objectively better to put him... It's fine. You can go there. And then if we can get another... Su oh, shit. I was joking, but all right. Now that there's two of them, it's actually not even a problem to go back for him. Nice. Uh, Mateo, get off the ship. It's going to be Mary's turn first, by the way. We're at Hope. At the end of your turn, heal one horror. And resign. Settle down with the last batch of humanity and hope for the best. Not going to be doing that either. Mary moves the ship over, and she gets off the ship as a lightning bolt, engaging the two of these chuckle fucks. So we have 3-1 on both of them. We won't be scanning. We'll be killing them. Um, do I have a soothing melody available? I'm pretty sure that one of these is a hallowed mirror. Gonna be honest, I value my time. I beat caught them into the ground. And they're just both dead now. <laughs> I play Soothing Melody, or Hallowed Mirror, rather, as my next action. It's finally upgraded, by the way. I get back on the ship, because I'm not about to mess with the Exoroid. I play Soothing Melody for two, healing these guys. Drawing a card, and shuffling it back into my deck. Cool, that's um, Sister Miri done with her turn. Over here, we're gonna need to scan. I give myself the Kate action. I'm gonna take a resource because I'm just drawing towards snakes at this point. Have I gotten goop already? I think I'm like drawing towards snakes and goop. Oh no, that's not good. Anyway, over here, we're looking for, oh, uh, if it is a giant enemy crab, it's fine. We got yellow circle. Yep, that's the giant enemy crab, all right. <laughs> Any Mars location, massive. After you successfully evade it, spend one clue, deal two damage to it instead of exhausting it. Gonna be honest, I'm cool just evading it. I don't think I need to promise a power, or sorry, see all this Elder Sign this. Just going to promise a power. We're up five. Tablet. We're up four. We pass. I'm gonna actually evade you. Don't really feel like dealing with that. I am going to scan again. We're looking for yellow circle. Thank God it's somewhere else. Don't really care where. I walk to that as my last action. It's got two clues and the scanning deck shuffles. That'll be it for us. Upkeep, upkeep, no overdraw there. There is an overdraw here. Oh, it's 45 Thompson. I was just, I've got a blind spot for that card. He readies, do you have Hunter? No, he just lives there. Well, all power to him. Let him live there, who cares? 10 to 12 doom. Oh, should this have done something? Yeah. Yeah, it should have probably dealt horror to us at some point. Don't recall. We investigated once here. I don't think I used anything to guarantee a pass. I'm going to take a horror on all of it, assuming that's the effect it had. It might also have done literally nothing, which is very likely. Anyway, we have an offer of power. You must either draw two cards and place two doom or take two horror. Oh no, my beat cops. Anyways. Alienation goes in the threat area. Maximum hand size is reduced by Shro. Oh, I don't like that. My hand's already full. Investigative succeed. Instead of discovering clues, discard alienation. But that means it's a book test. Honestly, that's fine. I, I have solutions to this. I can also just ward it. I do appear to have three copies of warder protection floating around. I'm just going to ward it. It's burning a hole in my pocket anyway. Like may as well. And then over here, what are we doing? What's the plan? It probably involves Mary coming back to the ship at some point, but I think we need to go first on Mateo. So I'm going to go first. I'm going to investigate with... No, I'm going to scan first with my Kate action, get a resource. We're looking for a blue triangle. There it is. There's way more left. Hey, this is the one that I remembered. Wait, you're not connected to us. Earth's just like, you know, down here being shit. Earth, the stars were right. Three shroud, four clues, victory two. Check your campaign log. Everyone who's been corrupted by Earth takes two damage. Luckily, we didn't have that happen to us, but also, forced, after you enter this location, you are immediately driven insane. Gonna be a little bit hard to get the clues there. This is the other reason that I really wanted to pick Luke, so that I could play read the signs and seek the truth from adjacent locations, like the ship that is docked at Earth, <laughs> so I could get these clues, because it would be so fucking cool. There are story items that let you do this through other ways. I forget how you get them, but you definitely can. I just really like this. It's such a good hook when you find Earth and it's like, yeah, just you can't actually do this, though. It's bad. OK, so that's Kate used. We're going to keep on scanning them. We're still looking for this. The moon base laboratory. So it looks like only one was a triangle and I just misremembered. Oh, wait a second. No, maybe it's been reworked. I don't remember this at all. Or maybe it's placed locations badly. 
Uh, this also is just sort of like out in space. You cannot scan here while there are clues on it. It's got four clues, by the way. At the end of the round, there's a starship here. Place one resource on this location. If there are three, spawn the set aside Domag to Eel enemy at this location. And Domag to Eel is this guy. Massive. After you defeat him, gain six clues in the resource bank, or from the token bank, rather. And trust me, we're going to need a lot of clues. Uh, that was my second action. Third action, I'm going to scan again. We're still looking for triangles. Derelict ship. I believe this is also just out in space. This one has two clues as well. In fact, this one should have four clues. I just forgot to put those down. It's into play. As an additional cost to scan at the derelict ship, you must draw the top card of the encounter attack. And um, I could scan again, but I'm just going to go ahead and right of seeking now that it's my last action. Because this guy doesn't have Hunter, to my enormous surprise. Thought he did. Anyway, it's only two shroud. Nothing to think about. If I get terrible numbers, I might think a little bit. My turn ends early. Oh, no. Sister Mary still got a turn. I believe it's in her best interest to bring the ship over to Mateo. What next? Uh, we could stand together Mateo. He'll overdraw a little bit. Not really important. I'm going to lightning bolt down and stand together Mateo. Get two resources. Draw two cards. Draw two cards. Hey, I saw that coming. Get out of here. This is why I said I lightning bolt down, even though there's no reason to do it yet. I'm going to swing over. Uh, it's lightning gun. He's dead. When I say it's a lightning gun, that means I spend two charges and I'm swinging at plus five for three. Lightning gun is how I want to use this. Ideally, I can use it smaller. Sometimes I'll use it bigger, but lightning gun is the most common mode, I think, for this runic axe. Anyways, we're done. Upkeep phases. It's time to overdraw. I don't foresee us needing another scroll of secrets. I think our draw is pretty secure at the minute. Guess who hasn't been adding bless tokens? Let's go ahead and do a quick recount. Do you want agenda? No bless. Do you want agenda? No bless. So there's at least one that was missing. Not going to recount and try to get more than that, because at some point you're going so far back, you should have drawn them anyway. Anyway, we have an Ace of Swords, so this is an overdraw. We still need to get rid of one more. Going to be honest, not seeing much need for Spectral Razor when I can just reroll the auto fail on a swing over. So yeah, 11 and 12 Doom and evil cards. Void Biaki, any locations without clues on it. He's in the ship. Is there a reason to put him somewhere else? Uh, no, in fact, it'd be actively inconvenient to put him somewhere else. Then over here, we get another Cyber Cultist. Any colony location. We're going to put this guy on the moon base because that's where we're going next. I Lightning Bolt on with Mary, engaging the Void Biaki. I Lightning Bolt on with Mateo afterwards. I Lightning Gun the Void Biaki. It's just dead unless I pull ridiculous tokens. Cease and desist. We're both on the ship. He's dead. All right, so that's first action. Second action, we're going to come down here to the moon base. I'm going to get off the ship. He's going to engage with me. I'm just going to slap him with the axe, not even committing anything. Stop wasting this. He's dead. Now, what do we need to do here? We just have to get the clues. And we also need our ship docked here for a while to get Tomag Yule to get his clues. I'm going to lightning bolt off. I know I didn't need it, but I really wish I had Scroll of Secrets right now. Like, I just immediately am looking at this like, oh man, if only I had Scroll of Secrets. I play Rite of Seeking for five resources. How many blasts are in the bag now? Four. That's plenty. I, for two resources, play another Favor the Sun. I seal Bless, Bless, Bless. Uh, where is our scanning deck? It's over here. It's looking for Yellow Circle and Blue Triangle. Oh, did we not finish that location? Well, check this shit out. If the top card of the scanning deck contains an icon matching any revealed location, scan as we were at that location. I tap this. I use the scan. I get a resource. And I'm going to pull this out. I knew there was a triangle somewhere. I'm not crazy. <laughs> anyway, Martian Ruins, Revelation, this goes here. Four Shroud, two clues. Gonna need to grab those clues for it real quick. You cannot scan Martian Ruins while there's a ready enemy at this location. That's fine. And it gets the Ethian Guard, so it's a little bit less fine. But we'll handle it eventually. First, after you deal damage, choose and discard one card from your hand. Well, he's gonna die on one hit. Not a big deal. I'm not scanning Moon Base Laboratory, right? It doesn't say you cannot scan at Moon Base Laboratory. It says you cannot scan Moon Base Laboratory. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter because I can Lightning Bolt off of it, then use the ability and Lightning Bolt back. There's actually no difference. Last action, Ride of Seeking, three Shroud, four, five, six, seven to three. No reason to commit more. Three of four clues. Feeling pretty good about our team in the final scenario so far. We've just sort of been crushing everything it throws at us. Which, yeah, I guess does happen when you have experienced sex this big. I keep wanting to play Guard Dog and not having time to play Guard Dog. 
God, I don't want to discard any of these. I know I can't possibly need the third soothing melody, but I don't want to discard it. Anyway, 12 Doom, the agenda advances. Should have just clicked reset, but it's new. Behold the sun. <laughs> I've reorganized our stuff down here a little bit. Now we have the sun and earth down at the bottom. And the reason I have the sun down at the bottom too is because if you enter the sun, you're instantly killed. What did you think would happen? Nine Shroud, no clues. It's the sun. It's hard to investigate. There's nothing there except death. Don't go there. I love the sun. The sun is so good. Oh, and also we ended our turn here, so there should be a resource aboard the Tattered Amalgam, right? Our new agenda has five doom in the same text. We're going to get some evil cards, all for a power. Two horror, huh? I'll take two horror about it. It's fine. Over here, the stars were right. Not a fan of that. We can just get rid of it, though, and that actually puts Bless in the bag. And speaking of, we definitely didn't use Mary's ability just now. All right, do we have time to breathe? That's weird. I wasn't expecting this. I'm going to Soothing Melody twice and play Guard Dog. Actually, I'm going to Soothing Melody once, play Guard Dog and Guardian Angel. One, two, one, two, three. Draw one, shuffle in, and I'm just going to heal the horror off of my Beat Cops. Then over here on Mateo, I'm going to take this test. I'm going to throw this Guts at the test. Uh, does he even need it? Is that five to three? He sort of needs it. Eight to three. Plus one, draw two. And starts or right leaves. And because that is a treachery card, add two blast tokens. Bag is almost filled. Well, I suppose it can be with this many sealed. Second action, I'm going to investigate with Divination up quite a lot. I don't know if that's true. It's three shroud. I'm at four, five, six, seven. Uh, now it's seven to four, so I'm up three still. That's exact pass, baby. Barely, but we did it. I take the last clue at the cost of a resource token, or sorry, a resource on divination. I'm going to scan for free with this. I'm going to take a resource because I don't want to draw my one and six at goop. And that means I just want to look for sticks. Cool, I found sticks immediately. We can put this under control of either of us. It is a K-11 survey unit. Scan, choose a connecting location and exalt it to scan for the topmost card and the scanning deck with the icon matching the chosen location and draw it. Hey, there we go. Uh, I was having a hard time grasping why I cared about K-11 survey unit. It's because he doesn't go insane when he goes to Earth because he's a robot and he's really well made. He doesn't melt either when you throw him at the sun. So yeah, K-11 survey unit might have some very immediate value for us. I don't know what I'm doing now. Mary's ready so I, I can draw a card, I guess. Uh, we're just like spending some time letting Domag Teal come out, I feel like. I'm going to play Soothing Melody and shuffle it into the deck. We're just going to heal two horror over here. I play Brandica Thugga because I can. And I guess I draw a card. Hey, it's the Bottle of Whispers. Nice to see you, man. That's it for us. We get a, another resource token here. It's the end of the round, right? Yes. Up keep Brandica Thugga. The Goop. We're good on hand size on both. If barely one of that's not eight, that's five, right? One of five doom and evil cards. Grim future still scary as shit. Still not doing it. Take a horror, spend a resource, and get rid of that. That just represents a lot of horror and damage over the course of a scenario. I'm up two. I've got Jacob. Test it. Up one. Got Jacob. Number of revealed locations without clues have to round it up. We have one, two, three, four. Five. That's minus two. I was at four, five to three, so I fail by one. I tap Jacob, I pass, I put the blesses in the bag. Well, I put a singular bless in the bag because the bag is filled now. I'm not engaging the ectoplasmic horror, man. I fucking refuse. I just swing over. I'm at infinity. It's just don't auto fail. We're done. Stop. It's dead. I am going to gain a resource and use it immediately to play Bottle of Whispers for even more autofail insurance. Now over here, we're just like so far ahead that we're just sandbagging, we're just waiting for Domag Teal. You can get a second ship and send it over here just to wait, but uh, we're not doing that. We only had to waste like one and a half turns, we were able to use them to like set up and heal and it was actually helpful, so I feel good about it. I'm gonna play Voice of Rock because it's funny. I use all of his ability on the first one. Cool, I gained six more resources. <laughs> Thanks, Olive. I, I don't need anything, I'm done. The game's feeling pretty over. Uh, there's still snakes. I know I've got a one in four in snakes if I draw. Oh, I can scan. There could be something else available to sticks. Let's check out if there's more stick scans. Hey, there is. It is the last stick scan, but I will go ahead and scan, which is actually a free action. Thank the Kate, that gives me a resource. Oh, hi. So you're at our location, you're aloof. 
It cannot be engaged except by the ability below. After you trigger an ability at its location, it engages and attacks you. Limit once per round. You come from a lot of places, right? Yeah. I have bad news. We're done here. Uh, we both lightning bolt onto the ship, and he's just gonna stay at the moon base laboratory. I'm sure they're fine. He's not gonna do anything bad to anyone at the moon base, I promise. They can just have him. Anyway, upkeep phase, good old hand size. Over here, not so much. Second rosary is funny, though I don't think we actually need it. I, I don't feel like we actually need a lot of things. We definitely don't need two. Oh, I'm not even overdrawn. But we still don't need two clairvoyances. Anyway, end of the round, we get the third one of these, and we summon Domag to Eel. There's a starship attached. Domag to Eel is at this location. He's a massive. After you defeat him, gain... All right, I guess we're gonna have to deal with that shame from the stars then, because our, our weapons do, in fact, use action triggers. But this will get us a load of clues, and I promise you we need clues. I'm not, I'm not going crazy. Two of five doom and evil cards. We've got the dark forest. It's in my threat area. As a general cost to trigger an action ability, draw the top two cards of the... That's probably worth a ward, right? I'm essentially warding two random cards. I'm gonna ward two random cards and get rid of this. Is it better to do over here? It's better to do over here because I've taken less word damage, just safer. So I'll do it over here. And then over here, we have Micrometeoroid again. I can use Ancient Covenant to ready Jacob. That actually seems super reasonable. I'm gonna use the Ancient Covenant trick to pass this and ready Jacob. And now we need to go kill Domag Teal. I, I just forgot about him. I forgot he'd spawn there. I thought he was like just a big guy in space. I didn't remember him being at a location. The mistake that ended the world. Oh, hey, are, are you are you why this happened? Is this your fault? I lightning bolt off on Mary and I use Brandigathaga, which causes this man to engage me. Uh, I realize that Brandigathaga level two does cost me two actions. My plan does revolve around me actually not getting a minus three and hitting this guy and the squids are minus threes and the cultists are also minus threes. And let me double check this real quick. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the skulls aren't minus threes, but the tablets do turn minus twos into minus threes. It does appear that we need to commit something to this. I've got a promise of power, I think. I don't think there's an alternative. Hi there, I'm up five. I'm up four. I passed by two, we're good. Oh, I added that instead of removed it, whoops. So that's gonna be three damage to Domag Teal as I burn out three of these charges. Then I spend four charges on this guy who just showed up. The Shambler from the stars. I'm swinging at a million for four. No one's here to help, and if they were, they don't have it anyway. Wasting all of them. Mateo uses his ability. We still lose the blesses, but this guy dies. The attack is now an auto success. And they'll actually put a bless back because we're Sister Mary. This guy has three health left. Oh my god, we can kill them both. Um, I runic axe again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to five. Plus one. I hit for two. I beat cop him once. He's dead. Holy shit. Guardians, man. Not even once. They are so strong. Like, their only thing might be fighting, but they are very, very good at it, aren't they? You can even make a three-fest character just like solo a boss and a mini-boss to your enemy in the same turn. That's not really boss and mini-boss, is it? This is definitely mini-boss tier and it's almost boss tier, but this is just a VP enemy, but still, killing two in one turn is pretty good. Anyway, uh, I, I thought they'd need Mateo to go in and trip somebody. I guess not. Um, how do I do? I don't really want to leave. Uh, oh, Sister Mary Lightning Bolt's back in. I go to the next place. Yeah, that's what I do. I, I just keep forgetting it's a lightning bolt you can use unlimited times around. I keep thinking it's Ensmith rules where it's limit once. I lightning bolt off into the derelict ship. I need to draw the top card of the encounter deck to scan here. That's unfortunate. I'm going to play Holy Rosary first. And then I'm going to scan as a free action and get a resource, which requires me to get an encounter card. Future Evils is very scary. I could have sworn I drew one already. I guess I just saw the three at the start, so there should be two more left in the deck then, right? I don't remember anything ever adding Doom. So this second Future Evil should still be in play. I'm not sure why I got discarded. Because it's not attached to the agenda deck, it's just next to it. So 
I'm gonna put this back in play if I'm making the game harder on myself. I'm making the game harder on myself, it's fine. Anyway, I was scanning this location and we're looking for hourglass. Cool, without a trace. We can assume command of the ship, but there are no clues on the derelict ship. We place the derelict ship. Oh, damn it. I just completely forgot that you have to uh, get the clues first. Fine, it'll be double surge. I get a clue and a, I get a resource and a goop, right? Give me the goop. Oh, hey, it's not the goop. Nice. I'm going to investigate with right of seeking because I don't care if my turn ends at this point. My turn ends, but I will still take the clues. Very large stack of clues I seem to have. That's it for us. Upkeep. Upkeep. Top of the round, three of five doom and evil cards. Void Miyaki can go at Sister Mary's location, meaning it engages with her. And over here we have Cold Vacuum. Uh, I have Mythos Resilience, I don't care. That is a waste, unfortunately. I should have had another Bless in there, though. Then I lose it immediately. And actually, uh, no, that is a fail, just barely. So goodbye, Scroll of Secrets. I'm going to go first on Mateo, take my free scan, get a resource. I know this is Goop, don't I? Did I just get Goop and forget about it? I got Goop very recently, apparently. Good job, Brain. Uh, I checked out a little bit. Somewhere around the 10th clue, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, we scan. It's going to work this time. I This should have been shuffled. There might be another hourglass above it. Don't know why I flipped that. I stopped flipping them. They're the wrong ones. All right, cool. Now this time, for real, we actually get to take command of the ship, flip it to its other side. Oh, wait, what is it? Get this. Yeah, get the Casilda. And now I'm on the Casilda, and the derelict ship is removed from play. Yes, this is victory displayed, and the derelict ship is just out of the game. And now we're just on separate ships, which is funny. And this is the exact same ship, essentially. I can't do anything relevant down here. Um, I'm going to move my ship to attach it to Mary's ship. Because there's nothing saying that I can't attach it to another ship anywhere. I'm going to lightning bolt into Mary's ship with her to feel more comfortable. I'm going to move Mary's ship to the sun. I'm going to put them like this, like in a daisy chain, I guess because only this ship actually matters. <laughs> We're looking at yellow and triangle. I'm just gonna scan as though I was at yellow or triangle because I think I've seen those before, yes. And I'm gonna see, last hope. This goes up next to the act deck and again, spend two player clues to add this to the victory display. So we would need six, 12, 18 total to do all of that. We're not really there yet. Oh, hey, we're a lot closer than I thought though. We killed Domag Teal, get six clues. We are there yet. I'm gonna give all of them to Mary in case there's some reason I want them split. So she has six clues now, putting us at exactly 18. I can't count for shit, putting us at 20, I guess. Yeah, we had 14, not 12 over here. And now it's Mary's turn. I'm gonna just destroy this guy. Runic Axe is pretty low on charges, huh? I've got second Brandicathug. I just attack with Brandicathug. Plus one, spend three. He's dead. Second Brandicathug goes into play. Not exactly in the right place, but it's fine. I'm gonna play Brand, or not Brand, I'm gonna play Soothing Melody, draw a card, it's my last action, take a horror, but I'm just gonna be healing myself for three horror, I'm not shuffling this back in, especially now that I've seen I've drew another Soothing Melody from it. And that's it for both of us. Oh, does this exhaust? This does exhaust. I should have used that instead, but oh well. We have other ways to do the same thing, conceptually at least. I don't need this emergency cash, I'm very good on economy. You're good. Four of five doom and evil cards. We've got the dark forest. It goes in my threat area at the end of your turn. Test four. Ah, uh, I don't. I need. I need to do that stuff this turn. Unfortunately, I'm gonna take the ward. Oh, that's the wrong way. And essentially, ward two random cards. Space pirates go on our ship. Here you go, Mary. I'm gonna go first on Mateo. I use my free scan. I get a resource. I use Universal Archives to scan as if I were at a revealed location, in this case, the Martian Ruins, which is here. I can also pick the Earth, they both work. And I get the last thing, the Stasis Cube. I can give it to either of us and we test book three as a double action to remove a Doom from the current agenda and cross out the tally under Impending Doom. I give it to myself. First action, I play Seal the Elder Sign and I do this test as a double action, actually. So this is going to, once per game, reduce the doom, remove an impending doom. And I get either an action back. I'll take the action back. 
I don't really want the card draw. I, I'm good. I'm fine on that front. This is the plus sign, which is the sun. The dog is up for that. Nothing else I do really matters. I lightning bolt into the other ship. I pilot this ship to here. I lightning bolt out of this ship. That's the second action. I write of seeking. And we're at a million, essentially. Ancient Covenant staff. I take the clues from this location. And I lightning bolt back into the ship so that this guy doesn't come mess with me. I'm supposed to reveal a second token after the blessed token anyway. It's a curse, so it keeps going. It's a tablet, so it keeps going. It's a curse, so it keeps going. It's, what is this? So the second token was a minus nine. Uh, it was only difficulty two, so we have 11 on the negative side. We need to beat 11. We were at four, five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 from the bless. I tap Jacob and pass anyway. What on earth was that? There were only two curses in the bag. I'm pretty sure there were only like two tablets as well. Uh, my turn ends, but it's a lightning bolt window, so it doesn't matter. I can still get out. What an emotional roller coaster that was. That was sure I had failed in retrospect. Um, over here, we need to deal with some pirates, apparently. Forgot about these guys in light of recent events. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the big swing. Odds are I don't fail this. By odds are, I mean, fuck you, I guarantee I don't fail this. <laughs> Cancel that. It was a star. I put a blessed token in the bag and they're dead. I'm going to use the dog. I am throwing the dog into the sun, scanning at plus. The ritual of the sun. We know of the abjuration of the throne, so we attach this card to soul. Objective. Investigators in a connecting location must spend nine player clues as a group to complete the ritual. If you do so, replace the agenda deck and act deck with a set aside dark matter agenda and Tisilda's awakening act and spawn the set aside Tisilda enemy at soul. Reduce the cost of the ritual by two investigators for each of the following entries in your campaign log. Primordial Chaos, Manifested Madness, Unconscious Pandemonium. I believe I have all three. Primordial Chaos, Manifested Madness, Unconscious Pandemonium. So this nine players goes down to three players, so it's only six clues to do this. Is that an action? No, it's just an act advancing. I have nine minus two minus two minus two, nine minus six, three, three times two is six clues. Thanks, Domag Teal, you're a G. Thank you so much. We're done with these agendas and this act, and we're going to new, cooler, hipper acts. The Silda's now at Seoul, our new agenda has unlimited doom. When a location has three or more horror on it, remove it from the game. Each investigator at that location is defeated. Move all enemies at that location to the location with the most clues. And you can still resign, but maybe don't. And also keep adding doom to this. The Silda's Awaken still lets you scan. We can parlay to get help from the colonies and place one of your clues on the location with the most clues. Deal X damage to the Silda where X is the number of story assets and the victory display. When the Silda is defeated, advance. Tisilda, currently attached to Soul, is massive retaliate. Is she attached or at? She is at. Tisilda is on the surface of the sun, or possibly the sun. tisilda has got six fists, three foot, eight health, plus one players for each doom, so plus four. So we're looking at a 12 health boss counter. After any amount of doom is placed on the card for each doom place, place one horror on Tisilda's location in each connecting location. So when we place doom on the agenda, for instance, which will have been reset to zero by this, it's going to place one horror on her location and connecting locations. Move all enemies at that location to the location with the most clues. So after Tisilda blows up the sun, she'll teleport to whatever has the most clues, which is going to be a Martian Ruins, I believe? Martian Ruins. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure Sister Mary can just wait at the ruins and curb stomp this god into the ground. It doesn't even seem that hard. We got guaranteed trips on Mateo. We don't have to engage with this. We can go camp and wait. Uh, she will have to blow up the earth first, unfortunately. And there is one thing left to scan. It is the suicide locations. Mateo can handle that next round. So can Sister Mary. What's our goal? What are we trying to do? Get help from the colonies. Place one of your clues on the location with the most clues. Deal X damage where X is the number of story assets in the victory display. So I do still want to go do these, I believe. That's going to require six clues each. We're one short presently. Sister Mary's not involved in that. He has all the clues, all the clue finding power, and all the relevant assets. 
All right, uh, I pilot my ship over here. I get off and I engage Yeti and Guardian. I attack with Brand of Kithaga, the full win. He only has three fists. We're looking at three, four, five, six, seven, eight to three. Yeah, you know what happens? I, I could beat cop him and stuff. I'm going to. I'm going to beat cop him. He's going to hit me. He's going to put a damage on the guard dog. Actually, he's going to put the damage on me. A horror on the guard dog and a horror on the weaker beat cop. He's going to be at three damage at this point. Guard dog, beat cop, beat cop. We go into upkeep. Nothing else of interest happens. Yes. We take a horror on Mateo. And now that we're ready again, we beat cop again to just kill this guy instantly and not waste any more time dealing with him. I'm, I'm upset about all the damage I took. Uh, double beat cop, triple beat cop even, and then hit. I took six from missing that swing instead of one from beat copping it. Now we hit one doom because we've added a doom to something. Desilda is going to place a horror on her location and each connecting location of which there are presently none. So the sun's a little bit explodey right now, but that's fine. And evil cards. I don't want to discard a bunch of cards, but I also can't really investigate. So uh, currently I'm losing four hand size and it's just going to be that way. I can't really do anything about it. Going to uh, just like drop a bunch of these in my hand. Right now it's four. I'll adjust these, the count of these in my hand and then that's how we're doing it. I can now see that my hand is messed up. I can't forget it. Over here for our Mythos card, we have Solar Eclipse. Investigating is harder? Oh no. How will I manage? We're doing plus two trial, by the way. I'm not even going to keep it out. Okay, this guy's aloof. I pilot my ship here. Actually, hmm, frustrating. I get out of my ship, I walk, I do the thing, I walk back, I get it in my ship. That's two actions. This guy's a loop, he doesn't interact. The one for the Migo, repairing the threshold. Yes, I need to be on the threshold of Yagath. I need to spend six clues. So we spend six, and this goes into the victory display. Now next, I spend an action and I fly myself over here and I lightning bolt myself out and I'm going to just spend another six, right? I'd hope. Spend six, add this to the victory display. And that's six now. We have five left. We need to get one more clue before we can do the last one. Over here for Sister Mary, the last one does sort of have a guy on it. I'm gonna get in my own ship. I'm gonna fly it over here. I'm gonna get out. Exoroid engages me, and I have one action spent so far from moving the ship. Still for Shroud. Anyway, Brandon Kathaga, the full one. He takes three. Brandon Kathaga, the full one. Hmm, that actually might be a very large number. No, it's not. It's one for the ships, two for these locations. Three for these locations, four. That's minus five, but he's only got two fists, we're fine. So we spend our four charges of Brandicathaga, and this guy is now in the scanning deck. That's actually very annoying for us. Wait a second. That's fine, it's not actually important. Upkeep phase, we'll sort it out shortly. We don't need the scroll of secrets. Over here, we're gonna be discarding a lot more cards. We don't need standing together, we don't need spectral razor, we don't need second guard dog. We don't need Spectral Razor. Okay, cool. Two Doom, and we're gonna put another Horror here, bringing it up to two, evil cards. If you ever do get a card that adds Doom, does is this supposed to work with the agenda? Because it's not a card adding the Doom, right? This is just a game mechanic. I don't know what adds the Doom. Oh, it's the Acolytes, it's the Cyber Cultist. Um, I'll commit Guts to this just to make sure it goes off. That'll be a pass by a lot. I've got both rosaries in play. I don't know why I flipped a token just now. You get out, add four blessed tokens to the bag, and I forgot Sister Mary, but that's fine. We're already filled anyway. And I'll draw two cards. Okay, Mateo goes first. He gets in a ship. He comes over here. He gets off. Are there clues here? So I need to investigate before I leave. Just sort of forgot about that. I investigate after moving the ship, or sorry, before moving the ship. Just imagine I did this in the right order. Um, there's no reason not to just force this with Ancient Covenant, I guess, so I'll use Rite of Seeking and get all the clues, all two of them. <laughs> and then we come over here, 
And then we spend our six clues and we do the last story objective. We lightning bolt back in our ship. Wait, no, we get a free scan action here. We get the exoroid. Any asteroid bolt, so we throw them at the first one. We lightning bolt back in our ship in the Casilda. And last action, we use the Universal Archives. Wait a second, these aren't these don't exist anymore. We don't have these anymore, do we? Yeah, unfortunately, I have lost all three of these. So we're gonna have to bring the dog. But that's fine. These are all removed from the game. So on Sister Mary's turn, I'm going to get in the ship, the other ship that is. I'll get in the same ship as um, Matea, why not? I fly over to Earth, nobody looked too hard at it, and I throw the dog on Earth to scan for the Pallid Mask. It goes into play under my control. I can exhaust it to test three bulk as a lightning bolt. If I pass, I take a horror. No, that's only if I fail. If I fail, I take a direct horror, and if I pass, I can teleport anywhere. That's very cool. We don't need that. So what's this action again? Parlay, place a clue on the location of the most clues, deal X damage to the cylinder or X the number of story assets, so she's just dead in four parlays then. Shame that she will get to blow up the sun though. I parlay twice. The location of the most clues is New Brooklyn. I place two clues on it and I deal six damage to her, bringing her down to six, right? Number of story assets in the victory display. Uh, these would be the story assets, I guess because you just remove these from the game. But yes, that's still three. That's it for us. Upkeep, end of the round. We're gonna overdraw, of course we are. We don't need stand together. We don't need voice of raw. We don't need emergency cash. Three doom, the sun explodes. I believe that means we remove it from the game, yes? Yes. So the sun is gone, but Tisilda certainly isn't. Tisilda is taking a trip to New Brooklyn with the Exo Meteoroid. <laughs> It's a mess in there. <laughs> um, anyway, the game is thoroughly over. Cold vacuum. Yeah, go ahead. Crypt chill, man. Or don't. That's cool, too. And then over here, um, there actually are not three tally marks under that, so we don't get the feaster. That's pretty funny. Uh, micro meteoroid. I don't need this right of seeking. Oh, wait. That's not what this one does. I, I can just take the damage. It's fine. Um, yeah, I take two damage. We parlay twice, we deal three damage for each of them, and by the combined power of a saved galaxy, we kill Tisilda. Welcome to the victory display. Go to R3, correct? Or the back, rather. Go to R2. Nothing has been removed from the game other than the sun. We go to R2. Proceed to the end three. We finally escaped to Stuart's grasp and prevented him from escaping his prison. We win the campaign. We earn experience and trauma. Oh no, we actually heal trauma. Look at that. How nice. And we record that Hope was shielded from the blast. The UCC escaped to another galaxy and the Migos safely returned to their home. Proceed to epilogue. And lastly, in epilogue 4, we record that Haster and Tisilda are imprisoned in Arcosa once more and the universe vanquished the inevitable for now. And yeah, it's a sick scenario, right? Like... Traveling in space in the ships feels so good and so natural. Me like every single section of this map is somebody that we've interacted with before in a meaningful way. Loads of like reasonably scary enemies. The Mythos deck does feel a little bit soft. I would expect if a return to does get printed for this, like the developer was talking about, that it might make the Mythos deck here just generally more dangerous. Because I do feel like, I mean, Sister Mary stomped the fight side. And I guess I can't comment on the rest from this playthrough because we run six copies of Warden Protection. But like and other playthroughs that I never felt particularly scared either. The whole flying around on the spaceships thing, saving the galaxy, this space opera ending is done so well, it meshes the mechanics and thematics of like the whole campaign so incredibly well. It's a wonderful final scenario, and it is legitimately one of my favorite scenarios of Arkham, just end of story. Not like for custom campaigns or with any qualifiers, it's one of my favorite scenarios. That's gonna be it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching me play through Dark Matter. I always hesitate to say compliments that go to the extreme because that if you do that, it means you're hurting everyone else. Like if you say X is the best, then by definition, you're sort of insulting everyone else. And I hate doing that. But with Dark Matter right now, I do feel comfortable saying that it is easily the best piece of fan content available for Arkham Horror. It is so incredibly well made and polished. There are like problems with the campaign. There's problems with every campaign. If you tell me to tell you something terrible, about any official campaign, I can. 
Every single one of them has problems, that's just par for the course. I think Dark Matter is legitimately the best piece of fan content for the game. However, that does come with the caveat that I don't really care for fan expansions of cards. I haven't even really looked at them, just like fundamentally I don't find them nearly as interesting as fan campaigns. And I do think that of the four or five fan campaigns I played, Dark Matter is just easily the best. And I hate saying that, because like to everyone else I'm saying, hey, you're worse than Dark Matter. I'm trying to compliment Dark Matter, but in my head I can't shake that it comes off as the other statement as well. But I think most people will be okay with hearing, hey, you're worse than that thing that's absolutely incredible. I think most people are okay hearing they're worse than official campaigns. So I would imagine then they're okay by proxy with me saying they're worse than Dark Matter, as I also think Dark Matter is better than many official campaigns. And also, this is a fear that I shouldn't have. Like, it's not a problem at all. Anyways, I've been Rather Incoherent. Love Dark Matter. Love this finale. Hope you enjoyed watching me play through it. And if you did, then like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff really does help the channel grow. And I'll see you in the next one.